I'd love to join you. What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to, uh, you know, The Wolf Among Us. I think Bluebeard's over there bitching at me. I think we're gonna try and go over to Crane's apartment. This place is right here. I should check that out first. Perfect. And I'll go to those two imbeciles office. Crane's penthouse number is 1903. Let me know what you find. I hope you know what you're doing. Better not find a bunch of, like, sex toys or whatever. What big eyes you have. <laughs> I earned a trophy. Hooray. Anyone back here? No? Hmm. This place is this with the double doors. Damn. Snow said Crane lives in 1903. Oh, well, the door's open, huh? Who lives over here? <laughs> This is Briar Rose's place. I don't know who Rose is unless I just... Alright, open up. There's no way in hell I'm knocking. Rain? Wow, what a cocky son of a bitch. Damn like, who has a statue? Must have missed him. Gotta be something about his witch here. Who has a statue of themselves? Like, in their apartment? And where was that statue, anyway? There it is. Look at this shit. Really? Yeah, I know. Is there, like, a secret door here? No? Alright. Someone in there? Who the cares? Okay. Yeah, wrong shoulder. Well, there's gotta be an easier way. Yeah, your foot. Damn it. Come on, just use your foot, man. Can't be that hard, right? It's not even on, like, midnight? What the hell? Math, science, history. I had to guess. What the fuck? Work. Well, that was out of the blue. Holy shit. I've never seen him that excited. Guess things have changed. Hell yeah, they have. Well, it's not as cocky as the statue, but that's still pretty cocky. Like, what the hell? I know you fought the Headless Horseman and all that shit, but, like... Let's tone it down. Oh, what the... This hasn't been used in years. I forgot. He used to teach in the old days. Oh, I just got a message. Hooray. Um... Here, let's touch the answering machine. Crane... Look, the crooked man is a happy compadre, and as much as I like making house calls, I have better ways to use my time. So, if you can go ahead and pay it by Friday, that would be great. Alright? Everybody can stay upright. In the meantime, leave the light on. Who the hell was that? I had to like turn on my monitor to hear that. Hopefully there's no echo. Hmm. Crooked man. This is all I could get. I'm afraid Snow will start to notice. I'll have the rest for you next week. Ichabod Crane. What's going on here? I'm taking that money. Hell yeah. It's like 300 bucks there. Maybe four. Maybe I can pay for that bar incident. My dearest Snow, I know you must be aware of my feelings towards you. I'm watching you work. If I'm unable to control myself, it's because I love you. 
What a shit bag. This must be to the uh, door in the other room. The one we can't kick down for some reason. I had this earlier. My dad has, has a shoulder problem on the same shoulder. It's just, it's just not a good shoulder to have problems on. Hey, there's Mr. Horseman. Before he had like a pumpkin on his head. That's such like the tiniest room right there. I walked past it in like half a second. Hey. Oh, this guy. Wow. It is just unbelievable running into you here. I mean, of all the places. This weather, right? A little damp, I guess. Explain yourself. Now. Okay, okay, okay. I know what it looks like, but before you go jump into conclusions, Crane pays me to water his plants when he's gone. It's a stipend, but you know I need the work. I wouldn't do it for free, right? You know me. So, anyways, uh, now that I'm done... I don't see any plants. Hey! Get the fuck back okay. here. You got me. Just take it easy. You better tell me why you're really here. Okay, okay. I heard Crane was leaving town. I figured he owed us little people a parting gift. Or just me a parting gift. You heard? I have my sources, okay? You see how he lives. He doesn't need any of this shit. A little Robin Hooding never hurt anyone, right? Have you heard anything about a witch? In connection with Crane? Maybe something about a ring. What are you getting at? What else do you want me to say? I got the bills truth, to pay. you jackass. Not like Crane's gonna use any of this stuff. Are you working for Crane? And tell the truth. No, I'm not working for anybody. Just take it easy. <sighs> you know. This tortured, lonely pig eater bit's gonna get old eventually. Don't you get tired of it? I mean, what are you even doing here? Are you just wandering around Crane's apartment? I mean, what's the point? I'm investigating. Sure. And you're stealing, jackass. Well, looks like you've got it covered. Anyway, it was really nice catching up with you. I mean that. Bigby, I believe you're, uh, blocking the doorway there, if I could just, uh, squeeze through. You know, on second thought, it's actually funny I ran into you like this. I think I can help you out. Somehow I doubt it. You're looking for Crane's witch, right? Look, I'm not stupid. Bigby Wolf comes in here asking about witches in Crane's apartment. I'm not a mathemagician, but I know two plus two is five, am I right? I can tell you who she is. If you're interested. Information comes at a price, though. All right. Tell me. Let's make ourselves a deal. I tell you about Crane's witch, and you forget you saw me here. One hand washes the other sort of thing. Wipe the whole incident under the rug. Come on. What do you say? Fine, you Fine. asshole. You got a deal. Perfect. Now tell me where I can find this witch. Strong grip. Her name is Auntie Greenleaf. Crane's been trying to keep it under wraps for years. I'm not sure what he's using her for, but if he's not going to the 13th floor, it's got to be something illegal. Where can I find her? Well, um, you see, uh, th the thing is, I don't know where you'd find her, exactly. You gotta be fucking kidding me. But even a name is a good start, right? I mean, that's more than what you came in with. Right. I'll keep my eyes open for you. If I find anything else you might be interested in, I'll be sure to let you know. I think this arrangement can be beneficial to both of us down the line. <sighs> it was just lovely running into you, baby. Hang on a second. What's oh, in the bag? Come on. Glamour tube. 
deer. Do you always talk to yourself like that? Yeah, I'm in a video game. The witch uses the white deer on everything. It's her symbol or trademark, I guess. Figured I could sell these at the Lucky Pawn. The Lucky Pawn? It's one of the crooked man's places. I work there sometimes. When I need some stability. It's a pawn shop. Get it? Yeah, yeah. You find any more of these? Uh, no. You want to try that again? That it? Pick me? We're in here, Snow. We? Who else is... What's he doing here? Evening, Miss White. Good evening. What's going on? He's here to help. Jack had some information about Crane's witch. Oh. What did you find out? Her name is Greenleaf. Auntie Greenleaf. But he doesn't know where we can find her. Great. Crane's meeting her at 2 a.m. And Snow, I found a note with some money attached. Crane has been embezzling from Fable Town. Of course, because why half-ass being a complete sleazeball? Do you think this is tied to the murders? I mean, I guess it doesn't matter yet. We still have to find him. Right now, I honestly don't care. I just want to get the fucking guy. Crane's meeting Greenleaf at 2 a.m. And we have no idea where she is. We're going to cut it close as it is. We have to figure out where he's meeting her. Wouldn't she be listed in the business office? I've had Buffkin searching for any unauthorized witches, but so far we haven't found anything. I'll give him the name, but we don't have time to wait around. You should try Holly's. She still has all of Lily's things. If she hasn't burned it already. There's still Tweedledee's place. We know they're involved. And we know that's where Bluebeard went. Where do you want to go? We don't have much time. One or the other. Okay, so... Tia Dumb's office has probably been raided by Bluebeard, and then, then there's the Trip Trap, who hasn't been touched by Bluebeard, I don't think. Uh... Look at Jack, smiling like a weirdo. Oh boy, I guess we'll go to... The Trip I'll Trap. I'll go to the Trip Trap, see about Lily's things. I think that's our best option. Sounds good. I'll give Buffkin the name and hope he finds something in the records. Let me know what he comes up with. I'll be in touch. I hope you'll do the same. We'll catch him, Snow. Hang on, Jack. I want to talk to you. Uh-huh. My neck's been kind of bugging me the last couple days. Ugh. Two o'clock? Oh, we're getting close on time. Yeah. Due to what? <laughs> Bear... I don't even know what, what that word is. We're closed. Guys, it's me, Bigby. Hey, look, Woody, it's the sheriff. Well, come on in, buddy. Hey, it's good old Friend. woodsman. What? He's a traveler. A weary traveler in search of some hospitality, right? Yeah, sure. Thanks. I want a drink. Anybody else want a drink? Friend, Swinehart said you shouldn't mix you it. You think I give a fuck what that fucking guy says? Or what you say? Yeah, let him drink shit. Grant, I don't care. Really, you shouldn't drink right now. Swinehart told me that Holly was here. I need to talk to her. Holly's asleep in back, but you won't be able to wake her. Really? Doc gave him both barmesidal ambrosia for the pain. Look, the 